Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Sergeant First Class Runyon. I'm a United States Army Healthcare Recruiter and your virtual recruiter. On this channel, we bring you all the career opportunities that the Army Medical Department has to offer. So stay tuned and we may discuss something that might interest you and fit in your next steps with your medical career. Well, I'm excited at the opportunity to become your virtual Army recruiter. Again, my name is Sergeant First Class Runyon. I'm the station commander of the Columbus Medical Recruiting Station right here in the wonderful state of Georgia. However, regardless of where you're at in our country, feel free to reach out to me. I'll assist you in your questions and then link you up with a local Army healthcare recruiter in your area to assist you in the application process. I am happy that you stumbled across today's video. If you have not yet clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click it below and also ring that bell icon to receive email alerts when I upload some new content to stay up to date with the Army programs and incentives that the medical department has to offer each and every one of you that are out there in the medical field. Now, regardless of where you're at in your medical career, if you're still in your undergraduate or you've been practicing for years, don't let that hinder you from reaching out to an Army medical recruiter because there's a variety of different programs programs, positions available that we will have to fit your needs and what your career goals are. Now, this process is an extremely competitive process, so that is why it is important to reach out to an Army medical recruiter as soon as possible to figure out what it is that you need to be doing to ensure that you are a highly competitive applicant. On this channel, we will be assisting you in this process by going over the minimum requirements of what you will need to have in order to apply for positions in the Army. We will discuss what the application process looks like and then also timelines of what you could expect. We will discuss some things to think about of what you could be doing to ensure that your packet is as strong as possible when you're sending it up to the board for selection for either a direct accessions position, a student program such as our health profession scholarship program, or a variety of other types of programs or incentives we have to offer. We will be sharing some community events that we'll be doing with our local universities here in the area, as well as some virtual events that are hosted through Career Eco, Handshake, a variety of different virtual platforms because, you know, thanks to COVID, we're really having to adapt to this virtual platform. And those are some of the platforms that have assisted us with getting information out to you. However, I do believe that YouTube is the way of the future for Army recruiting, and it brings information right to your phone, tablet, or PC on your time. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to create this channel and hopefully you guys find value from it. And last but not least, we'll be discussing all of the areas of concentrations and qualifications you will be required to have in order to apply for the positions. Like I said, the Army has a variety of areas of concentrations, anything from licensed physicians, from your general surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, occupational therapists, physical therapists, dietitian, biochemist, pharmacist, dentist, psychiatrist, psychologist, social worker, veterinarian, and several different areas of concentration within our nurse corps, such as med surge, emergency room nurse, critical care nurse, CRNA. The list goes on and on with all the amounts of positions that the Army has to offer within the medical department. So if you guys could see it in the civilian sector, just be aware the Army has a position here in uniform as well that we are looking to fill with a qualified competitive applicant. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. We will also be sharing some programs and incentives with you here on the channel as well. However, you know, the dollar amount from incentive to incentive will change fiscal year and fiscal year. So we will kind of, you know, leave it as vague as possible due to, you know, YouTube and keeping videos on the channel for years on end. We don't want something to become outdated. But the programs we will be listing and sharing on the channel is anything with our active duty or army reserve component. And whether you're a student or a licensed physician or been practicing medicine, four years. We will share a variety of different opportunities within the Army Medical Department, and I look forward to discussing all of these with each and every one of you in detail on the side if you do want to reach out to me. So I hope you have clicked that subscribe button already. If you haven't, go ahead and do it right now and ring that bell icon to receive email alerts when I upload our next video. I look forward to becoming your virtual Army recruiter, and until next time, strength and honor.